Welcome to another edition of the Kilted Homesteader. I'm really excited about this episode as I'm able to put a device in my N-Series uh, Ford tractor that I've been looking for for a little bit of time and the stars just aligned, so to speak, and I was able to get a hold of this bad boy just yesterday. This is a Howard reduction gear for an N-Series tractor. Of course, you all know I have a 1952 8N and this will be used in it. I was able to get this from an individual, uh, kept me on a list, uh, probably only uh, three or four months, said when he comes across one, he would let me know. They're very difficult to find, in good condition, and this one is in really good shape. The gears look really nice. You can see some wear on them, but they're not chipped, they're broken, and this is a complete unit. Now, people often say, and okay, just so you can see here, this is the uh, Howard reduction gear. This takes the place of the side panel on the right side of the tractor where the dipstick is. Uh, this goes there in its place when it's all done. And that's your selector to then put it engage or disengage the Howard gear reduction. Now often people will say, what's so special about this? Why is it any better than a Sherman? And I can tell you, Shermans are a really nice unit. They're a nice device. However, they tend to be inst they're installed before the transmission on the N series tractor. So it not only reduces the ground speed, but it also reduces the PTO speed. The Sherman um, reduction gear just reduces the ground speed and leaves the PTO speed alone. And that is because it's installed behind the transmission um, where basically the PTO and the transmission gear uh, split off. This will give it a about a three and a half to one reduction in gear. So at PTO speed in first gear is almost three miles per hour on the N series tractor, especially the 48N. I think has the higher gear ratio in first gear. If I did my math correctly, this should reduce first gear at PTO speed to about 2.8 to 2.89 miles per hour, which is really slow and allow us to do a lot more work with this device. So I'm really excited to get this. Again, these devices were known for breakage if they were abused and not handled properly. Um, people say, you know, you can use them for, for slowing down the tractor, but don't be using them for yanking out tree roots and pulling and heavy pulling and stuff like that. Just use it disengaged if you wanna do something like that. So this video is gonna be broken up into a few parts. I'm gonna show the assembly of this on the N-Series tractor on my Ford 8N, I should say. And it would be similar to the other N series, the 2N and the 9N. Um, that's why this, I don't want to make it all one big long video. I'm just going to break it up into segments. Today, um, I'll show you what I've accomplished so far today. So please excuse the mess in my garage. I usually try to keep it fairly organized. It's not always perfect, but we're obviously mid-project. And for this uh, Howard gear reduction to go in, you have to split the tractor right after the transmission. So here's the transmission right here. The front of that would be the clutch and of course your engine. So you got your engine, clutch bell housing, the transmission right here. You see your shifter sticking out the top. And then your rear end where there's your hydraulic pump right down in there. And if you look through there, that hole right there, which is a common thing on these tractors, that hole there is for fluid because it shares a common sump. It allows uh, fluid to go between the, the transmission, the ax the rear axle, and the hydraulic system. So that oil, that hole is there to come up, come allow oil to come from the rear differential up and through into the, the chassis or the uh, part where the hydraulic pump is right down in there. So... I'm using this opportunity to fix a few things that needed to be fixed in my tractor while I have it split. Hydraulic pump needs some work. And the top cover has an issue. The, the uh, one control arm was bent, and I thought it was the way it was supposed to be, but I found out it was supposed to be straight and not have a bend to it. So I'm going to fix that and adjust to finish my adjustments and replace the one lift pin that tends to grind and uh, get worn down. So I don't want to keep rambling on, but... Right here, in this area here, is where that gear reduction is going to take place. 
it will bolt in there and you have to tap two holes and thread them. And we're gonna walk through the process. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now a, on the, the instructions I found online that which are very helpful so far. And we'll try to do a little bit of a, somewhat of a step-by-step -step process because people often say, how does it get um, installed on the 8N tractor? And hopefully this, these videos are gonna answer those questions. So today is just kind of an introductory to let you know what we're gonna be doing and how we're gonna be doing it. And um, I will show you pictures on this video of the instructions on how to put the Howard unit on the tractor. Um, I will give you a few minutes of time on the screen so that you can take a screenshot if you need to. Um, I think if you Google the plans or the instructions online, you'll also find them there. I found them online myself. And the guy that sold me the unit also gave me the instructions with it. So I know you might not be as excited as I am, but I am super excited and super stoked to be able to do this to the tractor. Um, it'll make uh, brush hogging in heavier areas a little nicer. Um, it'll also allow us to slow down speeds for like cultivating if we need be. And um, there's many other uses that will come in handy because it's not gonna get abused. That system's gonna be babied in this tractor, trust me. It'll be used, but not abused. So I'll show you what I'm gonna fix on my top cover. Um, and then we'll probably call it a day. So this is the top cover on my N-Series tractor. And as you can see, I replaced the piston in the top because it was having issues with um, leak down. And this pretty much fixed it. There is an issue in the pump that I have to fix yet. But this rod looked exactly like that when I pulled it out and I thought, oh, it's just bent for a reason. Well, <laughs> some of the guys on the 48 on Facebook thing were talking about it and they said, no, that rod's supposed to be straight. Apparently it presses pretty easily. So we're gonna take our time and, and press it back into place um, and uh, get that working properly. And I also have to fix the one pin in here. There's a pin that tends to wear out up in this area right here. And I didn't know that when I had it apart before, so I'm going to heat it, remove it, and put a new one in while I have it apart. Like I said, we're going to use maximize the, the, the repairs while we have this thing split in to put the Howard. So I hope you found this video interesting. And I hope you will follow me through the process of installing this in my Ford 8N tractor. I really appreciate your time and watching this video. I hope if you like this video, you'll subscribe to my channel. Also, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and keep your comments, uh, you know, pleasant. And um, I don't mind a little correction here and there. Just you know, be nice about it. <laughs> and if you would like to follow it, uh, our channel, I encourage you to hit the notification button so that way you get notified when we release new videos. And I will try to keep these videos coming out over the next week. Uh, I may take a couple days off work just to get this done because I hate having a tractor split apart in my garage, and I don't want something to go wrong. And uh, plus, I want to try it and play with it and uh, share it with all you guys and gals. So anyway, you have a blessed day and thank you for watching another edition of the Kilted Homesteader.